Hello and welcome back to another design and communication tutorial. Today we will draw an ellipse using the radial line method, also known as the rectangular method. Okay, let's start working. Please copy the question. The major axis will be the length and the minor axis will be the width of the rectangle. Draw the major and minor axis using your set square. You can use a T-square if you have one. We will need to find the center of the rectangle. You can bisect the line into two, but for this exercise, I will draw a cross inside the rectangle. Now that we have four quadrants, we can start working. But first, let's label these spots as A, B, C, D, and E. Divide the line AC into four equal parts. One, two, three, and four. Let's write those numbers here as well. Divide the line CD into four equal parts.
since we already have number one here, let's write two, three, and four. Connect the divisions on line AC to B. Now we will use E to connect through the numbers. Let me accentuate those numbers. From E, draw lines which pass through the numbers until it intersects their corresponding numbers. 4 joins to 4. Let's put a dot here. Now 3 joins to 3. Let's put another dot. And the last one, 2, joins to 2. Let's put a dot. Now we will have to reflect those coordinates in the other quadrant. Let's extend those lines first. Now use your compass to transfer the measurements. Measure the length of the line in the first quadrant and then transfer it in the other quadrant. Again, I will accentuate those uh, coordinates. Use your set squares to draw the vertical lines from the coordinates. Let's do the same thing in the last quadrant as well. Now let's transfer the measurements. Since my compass is already set, I will do for the last quadrant as well. Let me accentuate those coordinates.
Okay, now just have to sketch an ellipse along those coordinates. Last time I did it freehand, today I will make use of my flexi curve to make the ellipse. Again, if you don't have one, you can still do it freehand. I'm sorry about my head though. There you have it. Thank you for watching.